everyone. Today I'm going to be finally reviewing Night Film by Marisha Pessel. I have about an hour until my doctor's appointment, so I'm going to attempt to record, edit, and upload this all before then, so let's go ahead and get into this right away. So Night Film follows Scott McGrath. He is a washed-up reporter who is ruined after he attempted to investigate and expose this, this legendary horror movie director named, hopefully I'm pronouncing this correctly, Stanislav Cordova. He has this huge following, a lot of it underground. A lot of people look at him with this kind of supernatural presence. The book takes off when the news breaks that Cordova's daughter, Ashley, who is 24, supposedly commits suicide. This was the man who ruined his entire career and Scott doesn't believe she necessarily committed suicide and if she did, what caused her to. So he takes this as kind of his one final chance to redeem himself and expose Cordova. This takes place in New York City and some of the other characters are Nora. She's a 19-year-old aspiring actress. She kind of forces herself onto Scott as his sidekick attempting to help him. There's another young man named Hopper who's quite mysterious, this beautiful drug addict alcoholic with a very difficult past. I really enjoyed Scott's character. I thought he was a good protagonist, quite flawed in a lot of ways, but a stand-up guy in others. Nora, I have to admit, really irritated me at the beginning of the book. She did grow on me a lot throughout the book, although I do feel like she was kind of a bit of a stereotype. One thing that I want to make very, very clear about this book for people who are thinking about reading this is is I sort of feel a bit about Night Film the same way I felt about Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children in the fact that I think they're both good, solid books. But in both cases, I think there was a lot of misadvertising. Miss Peregrine's was definitely advertised as this horror novel with these very creepy photos, that kind of added element. Night Film was definitely advertised as something that was going to be terrifying, a mindfuck, and I knew going into it it had this added element, sort of like Miss Peregrine's with photos and an interactive element where you could go online and do... And in both cases, in my opinion, neither book is particularly scary. There aren't a lot of horror scenes. Miss Peregrine's, I think, was more so just a children's adventure book, which is fine. It's just not what it was advertised as. And Night Film was a 99.9% .9 a just straight-up detective novel, walking around, plodding around, looking for clues, and then 0.1% horror, which is, like I said, fine. It's just not what it was advertised as. I love detective novels. I love The Cuckoo's Calling by J.K. Rowling, but the way they were trying to suck people into this book was definitely by saying this is going to screw with your head and be terrifying, and in my opinion, it just wasn't, except for maybe two scenes back to back at one point in the book. My next point about the book is sort of a pro and sort of a con, but there was a lot of really well done, creepy, suspense building moments in the book. The whole book has an excellent, eerie vibe. Vibe. But I think there was a lot of buildup that never really came to fruition, which is slightly dissatisfying as a reader. There was also a surprising amount of really cheesy humor throughout the book, just sort of randomly thrown into creepy parts, which sometimes worked really well. I understand why she did it. It is a very, very dark book, and so having some kind of lighthearted characters and really cheesy one-liners thrown in, I think she did to try and balance it. Sometimes it worked, sometimes it really didn't. There was a quote I really loved in the book that was reiterated multiple times about pushing yourself, but obviously it was worded very nicely in a very dark way, but I can't find it or think of it at this moment. I'll put it at the bottom of the screen, but one of the characters has it tattooed on them by the end of the book, and I think it's an excellent quote, and I think that theme of the novel is done really well. One of my favorite elements of the book was reading about Cordova's not past, but his mystique and what all of his fans thought about him and what his movies were like. A major complaint with the book though, and I'm interested to see what other people thought about this, please comment about it down below, but without giving any spoilers to people who are watching this who have not read it yet, but I was very, very, very dissatisfied with the ending. Some people would say it really worked for the rest of the book and it made sense for the story. I don't think it did at all. But so in the end, if you want to read a creepy detective novel, I would highly recommend Night Film. I think it's a very good, solid book. It's just not, unfortunately, what I wanted it to be nor what it was advertised to be. I think if you want to just read a really disturbing mindfuck book with some detective, you know, searching elements in it, I would definitely go for House of Leaves. I think she's sort of attempting to have that vibe in this book, but it doesn't really ever fully read that. Yeah, so in the end, I would give Night Film by Marisha Pessel 3.75 out of 5 books. Good, solid book, just like I said, not really what I wanted it to be. I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to edit and upload this in the next 40 minutes, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.